What's going on guys? This is John the Wolf of Ecom. In this video, we're going to talk about what to do when your ad account gets disabled. And this will actually help you even if Facebook is demanding that you present and confirm your identification, okay? Because it has become a nightmare. I've seen people that have submitted the real legitimate passport or driver's license and they still get rejected and then permanently restricted. So this workaround, this hack, this trick will absolutely help you to not lose everything that's connected to your name and have to start over. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out my free bulletproof guide that's going to show you how to build out a full system of profiles, verify business managers, and a way that you won't get shut down overnight. So without further ado, let's jump right into my computer. Okay, so you see here that this actually was disabled. Okay, so I'm gonna click on close this, close this, or click this. And when I go to appeal it, the problem I'm gonna run into is, let's see, so I hit request review. Okay, well, this one failed, but even before it wasn't letting me and I'm going to show you why. So I click here, it's going to ask me to confirm my identity. Now, in all honesty, this profile is a real profile, but I do not have the ID on hand. So it would not make sense for me to submit it. And honestly, I wouldn't submit it even if I did have it on, have it on hand, mainly because Facebook has a high tendency to uh, not approve the ID. Even if it's a real government issued ID, I don't know why. I can't understand it. It's been this way for probably two to three months now. So the best thing to do is to work around. So what, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna actually go into your business manager, okay? So if I go to the business manager here, I'm gonna go to business settings and then simply, so the profile isn't restricted, the business manager isn't disabled, it's just that specific ad account. So you obviously need to invite someone, so it could be whatever email, it actually doesn't matter, there's a little trick Give them admin access. Actually, you could even leave them as an employee if you wanted to for this specific thing. You're gonna hit invite, and you're gonna hit resend right here, and copy, okay? Okay, so the next step, now that we have our link to join, uh, we're gonna need to use a specific kind of profile. A profile that has recently had Act, advertising access reinstated. Now there are a lot of sellers out there that privately sell real profiles that have been re-enabled to advertise, okay? I don't know the trick to getting them reinstated, but there is a way to do it. And I just buy profiles that have this access, okay? But keep in mind, this is a temporary status that the profile gets. It's, lately, it's only been lasting a few days, or it used to last one to two months maybe. So if you know that trick and hack, feel free to reach out and let me know. What, the, what, what this is gonna look like is, let's say I go to business.facebook.com slash account quality. You're gonna see it right here, right? So when, I, when this loads, you're gonna see under account issues, it says one is resolved, okay? The name, and boom, this. Advertising access reinstated, thank you for confirming your identity. So these are ID confirmed profiles. And this is your trick, this is your workaround. I'm not gonna actually join the business manager and appeal, but trust me when I say that if I were to join this business manager, I actually don't have the link here, but if I were to join this business manager, I would, be able to get to that same screen, but it's not gonna ask me to confirm my identity. Now, it doesn't guarantee you get the ad account back, but this is a the best way to appeal disabled ad accounts here in 2021. And obviously things can always change, you know how Facebook is, but this is gonna give you the best chance with the least amount of headaches at having something that was disabled overturned. And this the same thing works for BM business manager verifications. It was very common as of probably two months ago, where when you go to confirm or do a business manager verification, it's going to ask you to confirm your identity. I do not recommend you do that. I recommend that you get access to profiles like this and do the identity confirmation or not skip the identity confirmation, I should say, and just avoid it as a whole. Because like I said, you could have your own real ID, government issue ID, real profile picture view with 
with it and it's still get disabled. It makes no sense. I, I don't know anyone that can explain this. Obviously, Facebook chat support sure as heck cannot explain this. So do this. This is absolutely going to save you a ton of time, energy, and money. Nonetheless, you still want a infrastructure. You want a system in place that if something, if let's say one thing does get disabled, it doesn't put your, you out of business overnight. That is the most important thing, right? Because a lot of people just rely on one profile, one business manager, one ad account, and they like flip their, their head if something gets disabled, right? It's like the end of the world, but you need to put yourself in a position where it doesn't put you out of business, it doesn't put you in a bad headspace. That's where you make bad decisions. That's where you get kind of negative. That's where things really just stop working for you. So another, I wanna show you one other example of where you wanna use this. So the other scenario you're gonna run into is what you're seeing here on my screen, which is one there's been, you need to verify the ad account. And this typically happens anytime you, you set up a system like I teach people how to do, and you start running traffic on it, okay? And a lot of this comes down to the simple fact that you're using multiple credit cards and they don't always match the location of the IP address or the profile itself because you're using all these different profiles. But nonetheless, this is probably gonna come up. This usually happens once you start running conversion campaigns. So real simple fix and, and the, uh, what you're gonna run into with this is the ad account gets disabled, you don't actually do anything wrong, right? And then you hit verify account, and then when you go to verify the account, you're gonna find, this will let me submit it, but it's better to do this with a ID verified profile, okay? Um, usually on, it's on a different screen where it's actually gonna require it. So it may work with a profile that, that is not ID verified, but it's just best to do any kind of appeal with a profile that is ID verified because it may let you submit it right away at first, but then it'll come back and be like, Hey, you uh, you still gotta you know um, submit an ID, confirm this profile's identity, and then we'll consider letting you appeal. So that is how it works. That is the system, um, the process of appealing an ad account, right? It doesn't guarantee that you'll be able to get win every case, doesn't guarantee that you won't have problems, but this is the best way to, to handle things in 2021. If you wanna keep running on Facebook ads, you need a system, right? But you also need methods and strategies for working around issues that come up like this. This will come up, this will happen to you. Like I said, you're gonna probably at least run into the suspicious activity scenario where you'll probably need an ID to confirm the profile. So nonetheless, make sure you have all this in place if you plan on running on Facebook or you're using agency accounts with this. You know, you could get agency accounts right now, but unless you have a system and a structure in place, you need somewhere to put those agency ad accounts so that you, you limit the amount of issues and you could scale on Facebook like you should be doing. So nonetheless, if you haven't already, check out my free guide, the Bulletproof Guide, okay? I do have a few spots opening for my program. If you are interested in that, go ahead and apply for a call with me through the link you see in that uh, guide but you know it's up to you right if you feel like you could build this thing on yourself more power to you I've spent probably you know, countless hours of my life at this point over the last 14 to 15 months testing trialing everything from getting you know burner phones where you're I'm making my own profiles to uh, having tons of different cards right probably want to blow that out because that is my credit card number but nonetheless um, this, this, there is a lot to this, right? But the cool thing is this can become your competitive advantage if you wanna win on Facebook today, if you don't want to have issues and have problems and get shut down all the time. So uh, if you wanna stay on Facebook, if you wanna win, if you wanna tap into the, the, the number one advertising platform, not have to settle for just TikTok or just Pinterest or just Snapchat ads or just Google shopping, then you gotta figure this out, okay? So I'm here to help you do that if you get stuck. So. Uh, like I was saying, make sure you get my free guide you see with this video, it should be in the links below the description, and I'll see you in the next one.